Hello everyone. Before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to three of my newest members, Maxwell Feiner, Silvio Duarte, and AOY. Thank you for becoming a member and supporting the channel. You can become a member easily by clicking the join button and members are given shout outs in my videos. Let's get started. Today we're going to be solving a system of equations that looks fairly simple, right? It is a polynomial system, nothing tricky, but I will be presenting two methods. So let's get started with the first method. For my first method, I'm going to go ahead and add these two equations up, x squared plus xy and y squared plus xy added together will make 16. Now from here I get x squared plus 2xy plus y squared equals 16 and this means we have x plus y quantity squared equals 60. As you know if you're looking for real solutions then we have two possibilities here either x plus y is equal to 4 or x plus y is equal to negative 4. Now this kind of gives me two different routes to take so we can kind of call this first method A and then first method B. So here's what I can do. I can go ahead and subtract. So if I call this the first equation and this one the second equation, I can just go ahead and subtract 2 minus 1. And that is going to give me y squared plus xy minus x squared plus xy equals 11 minus 5, which is 6. From here, xy cancels out. And that leaves us with y squared minus x squared which can be written as difference of two squares. So we can factor y squared minus x squared as y plus x times y minus x. And as you know, x plus y is the same as y plus x, so we can just go ahead and substitute x plus y here. So if x plus y is equal to four, then y minus x is just going to be six divided by four or three halves, and from here, we do get a system of equations. Let's go ahead and write it down. We have y plus x equals 4 and y minus x equals 3 halves. And now we're going to go ahead and add these up. This gives us 2y is equal to 4 plus 3 halves. Okay, I can write that as 11 halves. And if you divide both sides by 2, you get y equals 11 fourths. All right, great. Now, to find x, you can use either of these equations. Uh, you can also use the fact, well, it's the same thing anyways. So y plus x is equal to 4, so their sum is uh, 15 four, uh, 16 fourths. In other words, if you subtract, since I know that x plus y is equal to 4, right, which can be written as 16 fourths, then x is going to be 5 fourths from here. But this is the case where y plus uh, x is equal to, you know, 4. What happens if y plus x is equal to negative 4? Then we get negative 3 halves for y, y minus x. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up a different system for that one. If y plus x is equal to negative 4 and y minus x is equal to negative 3 halves, and then we can again add these two equations, get rid of x, and then get 2y. Obviously, we're going to get the opposite of what we got before, which means y is going to be negative 11 fourths right? And x is going to be negative 5 fourths. So it's just the fact that you can just uh, negate the numbers and the solution will still work, okay? The reason being uh, that we have, you know, a homogeneous equation kind of on the left-hand side. Basically what happens is x squared is not going to change even if x is positive or negative, and xy, the product xy, is also not going to change if x and y are both positive or both negative, as long as their absolute values stay the same. Okay, so these are the two pairs we get from the first method, and let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. Okay, my second method is obviously slightly different. Oh, by the way, I was just saying that this there's like an A and a B to this, but since I'm going to talk about the B part uh, in the second method, I don't think I really need to talk about it, but we can go back and always apply it if you want. Okay, cool. Now here's my second method. My system is x squared plus xy is equal to 5 and y squared plus xy is equal to 11, right? Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to factor each equation. So take out an x, x, so x times x plus y is equal to 5. 
and from here y times y plus x but I can also write it as x plus y it doesn't really matter same thing you know they just commute now we talked about this recently you know we can divide two equations side by side let's go ahead and do that and if we divide both sides or, or side by side rather we're gonna get the following x plus y is gonna cancel out in this case we have to be careful uh, x plus y should not equal 0 but it is not we know that because x times x plus y is equal to 5 so there's no way x plus y can be 0 we know for sure that x plus y does not equal 0 in other words x and y are not opposites otherwise we wouldn't get a solution anyways it wouldn't work so when when you divide this you get something nice and this is kind of like a proportion x and y are proportional which means that we can basically use um, ratios so I can just call, hey, how about calling x 5k and y is going to be 11k. Obviously, k is a real number, rational number, whatever you want to call that. But uh, this always works, as long as k does not equal 0, of course. Right? Now, having said that, now I can take that and substitute in one of the equations. So I have x squared plus xy is equal to 5. And now I have a relationship between x and y. In other words, uh, x and y are proportional. So I can replace x with 5k. I can do that. And again, replace with 5k and uh, y can be replaced with 11k. And we do get an equation from here in one variable, which is really, really cool, don't you think? This gives me 25k squared plus 55k squared equals 5. 25 plus 55 is equal to 80. 80k squared equals 5. If you divide both sides by 80, you get 5 over 80, which can be written as 1 over 16. And obviously, there are two solutions. There are two numbers whose square equals 1 over 16. What are those? One of them is 1 fourth. The other one is negative 1 fourth. Great. So we got two solutions for k, but that just means that we can find the x and y values from here because x and y were written in terms of k. So x is equal to 5k. So if k is equal to 1 fourth, then x is just going to be 5 fourths and y is going to be 11 fourths, which is pretty much the same thing that we found earlier with the first method. Of course, the answers will match. Okay, that's my first pair. My second pair is going to come from k equals negative 1 fourth, since x is always 5k regardless, right? Then uh, from here, x is just going to be negative 5 fourths and y is going to be negative 11 fourths as before. All right, great. Now, is there another approach? Well, here's something to think about. And by the way, I was going to tell you about the, the 1b method. Since I was able to factor the x here, you could also do that to find the values. Instead of subtracting them after finding x plus y is equal to 4, you could just go ahead and, you know, just take the uh, first equation. And, you know, we were able to write it as x times x plus y equals 5. And since x plus y is equal to 4, from here you can directly find that x is equal to 5. 4. So there's another way to go about it obviously there's more than one way to do it which makes it more fun uh, anyways i just wanted to mention that and since we were able to find something like this here which is significant i think why not make this assumption early on but we don't really know what x and y are right so we can kind of assume that since x and y turn out to be you know uh what's it called proportional you could also do this. I'm not going to, you know, this. you could call this, I guess, third method, but I'm not going to really spend too much time on it. I just want to mention briefly that you could also use something like y equals mx and then plug it into both of these equations. And you could also solve for x and y that way. Of course, the m value here is going to be a little different than what we found for k. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.